In this specific video, you're going to learn how to install and use the all-in-one SEO plugin. This specific plugin will help you improve your WordPress site's search engine friendliness. This way, when Google and other search engines come to your website, they will know what your site is all about. Now, at this point, I'm going to log into my WordPress dashboard, as you can see here, and simply go under plugins and click on add new. Now, there's a lot of debate between people whether you should go with the all-in-one SEO pack or the Headspace plugin. These are two very powerful plugins that I would recommend both, but it's really up to you and you can use either or. Now, in this case, I'm going to be talking about the all-in-one SEO pack. Type that in, click search plugins, and there we go. So this is the plugin that we're going to be installing. Click install now, click OK. Let's go through the process of installing it. Enter your FTP username and password. Click proceed. Click on activate plugin. And there we go. Now it says all, all in one SEO pack must be configured. So go to the admin page. So if we click on this link, we can see the section where we can begin to edit the site. Now, if you ever want to come back to this, It'll be under the settings in all in one SEO. Okay, so simply enter your home title and your home description, your home keywords, and so forth. The best way that I would optimize a site would simply to know exactly what keywords you're trying to rank on. So you need to know your primary keyword. Make sure your primary keyword is in your title and in your home description and in your home keywords. So let's say for example that my WordPress site is about how to groom your German Shepherd. So German Shepherd. German Shepherd grooming tips and advice. So let's say for example this is our keyword here. You want to make sure that it is in your title, it's in your description, this uh, site is all about helping you learn how to groom your German Shepherd. And it doesn't necessarily have to be in the exact same order. Uh, and there you go, German Shepherd, German Shepherd grooming tips, grooming your German Shepherd. Obviously, I would assume by now that you know which keywords that you wanna rank on and you just enter them here. I'm going to leave these as they are. And this basically tells WordPress that whenever a search engine comes to your post or your page, whatever your post title is going to appear and whatever your post in page title will appear category title, archive title, tag title, search title, description format, F404 title format, page format, and so forth. Now, you can also set it in such a way that if you check this, for example, this basically allows you to enable SEO for custom post types. And these are the custom post types. And that basically means that if I have this checked and I create a poster page, I can actually customize this information up here. 
Otherwise, if I don't, then it's going to be fairly general. You can enter your Google Plus profile here, your Google Analytics ID here. If you're not using a Google Analytics plugin, you can use categories for your meta keywords if you want to do that. That way it's going to take your categories keywords and place them in your meta keywords. And it just gives you many, many different options as you can see here. I'm going to click on update options. And that's it. So all in one SEO plugin is very, very easy to use. And if you want to actually customize it for a post or page, make sure that that specific uh, checkbox here, SEO for custom types is checked. This way, if you go into a page or a post, let's say I'll add a new page. You'll notice that at the very bottom here, it says all in one SEO pack. This enables me to customize this specific page. So I can customize the title, the description, the keywords, and so forth. This way, if let's say, for example, Google comes to this specific page, then they can find information about this specific page. And that's it. That's how to use the all-in-one SEO pack. And from that point on, if you customize every one of these posts or pages, it's going to actually help you better in terms of ranking.